What's going on, guys? Remnant 2 just had an update go live today, October 27th. That introduced a new Aberration Domination event, which runs from the 27th to the end of Halloween. But don't worry if you're watching this video after the event, the rewards and items are still in the game, they just have a lower spawn rate. With this event, we are able to earn five new weapons and a few new mutators. Now if we head over to our Dwell friend, the Rune Vendor, you can preview these new weapons for ourselves. They require an entirely new currency called Corrupted Shards, which drop from new corrupted types of enemies, which is kind of like a new mini boss. Now this enemy is a rare spawn. Really rare. Like I spent three hours farming this event and I only saw one so far. Now I did search Reddit, and while I couldn't find the original post, I did see that these enemies do have a higher chance to spawn on higher difficulties. So I ran three Apocalypse Adventures and I saw one maybe 10 minutes into my third try. And this event does have them spawn an additional 25% chance to see one. To me, this doesn't seem like an easy enemy to farm. Wind does kind of come across from time to time. Definitely something you want to keep an eye out for while you do other things. The one I found was in Losom, but they can spawn in any of the worlds if you have a favorite one. Or just one you need to farm more gear from. Here's the mutator I got when I killed my enemy. Seems to be good for charged weapons like Deceit or any of the bows. And I also did read online that someone got a mutator that increased their reload speed based on the amount of heat buildup their weapon had. Now that sounds like it could be a slam dunk for something like the stone or LMG, so I'm going to keep my eye out for that one. Now these weapons aren't just reskins of a Halloween camo. They are entirely new weapons. If we look at Corrupted Merciless, for example, it has a three round magazine that shoots up bolts instead of being full auto with like a 50 round magazine like it normally has. And these weapons all do have a nice red and black color scheme, which I actually like a lot. It's definitely going to be a grind if you want all five. That's 10 shards per weapon, so 50 shards, or finding 50 of these new corrupted enemies total if you want everything. But hey, at the end of the day, it's a free update, and it gave me a great reason to come back to the game after a month. And I do hope these weapons end up changing up the meta from the handful of weapons we use on Apocalypse and Nightmare difficulty. Now I never say to ring that bell on YouTube, but here's an actual good reason to have notifications on. So you don't miss out on time-sensitive info in the future. Alright, that's going to do it for this quick update. Thanks for watching and have a good day.